He was among those terrified hostages forced to hide, then huddle in the freezer of a Jewish grocery store. As a terrorist attack raged on the floor above, they silenced themselves and the newborn baby with them to save their lives. The man on the left, Rudy Adid, today told Five News how he never expected to come out alive. He'd just gone to buy groceries that afternoon when gunman Amadi Koulibaly entered the store and started his killing spree. I went in and I started to do my shopping. Five minutes after, I heard some shots and I turned around and I saw the person with the Kalashnikov. I felt panic. Everyone was all over the place. I was with my friend and we went downstairs. Ten other hostages followed him into that perishing underground storeroom as police outside battled to neutralize the situation. Rudy says his friend switched off the electricity so the freezer would heat up, but it took many minutes for the temperature to even rise. We didn't feel good. Me and my friend tried to keep up morale and laugh a bit. We tried to think of other things. We waited, we waited. We sent texts. Some journalists and police called us. We were told to stick together for warmth and try to keep moving. Did you think that, that you were about to die? Of course I thought of it, but we just tried to brighten the atmosphere in the freezer to raise the spirits, tried to laugh. There was a moment when we tried to open some champagne. No, not champagne, wine. But we didn't have a corkscrew. We couldn't open it. After police stormed the building and ended the terror, Rudy was horrified to see the bloody aftermath of the massacre upstairs. But he was relieved it was over. At that moment, I wasn't scared anymore. I was with the special forces. We were saved. It was a miracle. He stared death directly in the face just a week ago. But together, the courage and quick thinking of Rudy and 14 other hostages saved them. Julian Drucker, 5 News, Paris.